47 years ago tonight, the modern era of televised presidential politics began with the first Kennedy-Nixon debate, broadcast from Chicago on September 26, 1960. That tradition continues at Dartmouth College in Hanover, New Hampshire. It is a leader in higher education and a veteran at hosting presidential debates. Tonight, the Democratic candidates for president gather here to debate in the Spalding Auditorium at Dartmouth College. In Spalding, it was tough because there are less than a thousand seats in there, even fewer when they had to make room for all the cameras and everything. And you had long lists of people they wanted to get in there. So the Rockefeller Center was very good about reserving as many seats as possible for students. That still is not going to be a significant percentage of the student body. So moving it into LEAD and making LEAD a part of the event itself, bringing that same excitement and energy to the students was something that I think was very well done by the Rockefeller Center. Okay. ...presidential candidates debate from Dartmouth College in Hanover, New Hampshire. Here is Tim Russell. Good evening and welcome. We have some big issues to talk about tonight, so let's start right now. Senator Obama, I'd like to start with you. General Petraeus and his testimony... Um, the debates really give the students a sense of the people's policies and where the people stand. And I think the students really get to make up uh, their mind based on the debates. I'm not particularly politically inclined. This is a great opportunity for me to really get involved in the political culture of our nation right now. I came into this debate sort of not really knowing who I was going to support, waiting to be impressed and stuff, and I was surprised, pleasantly surprised. You know, I, there was a few uh, kind of sleeper candidates out there that I really liked. It really was, you know, good to see. Um, I think you pick up a lot more when you get the interaction between candidates and stuff, you know, rather than just having one person talk about themselves. I came up a little bit early to uh, help organize the student watch party we had over in Lead Arena, and um, to make that a priority, I think really said something about the Rockefeller Center's commitment to the students there and really made it something that was a part of the campus climate. What you have just seen and heard epitomizes the opportunities that Dartmouth students have every four years to participate in and learn firsthand about the nation's political process. On a beautiful fall day in New England, the Dartmouth campus transformed into an open classroom and the center of national political attention. We at the Rockefeller Center for Public Policy and the Social Sciences are committed to educating, training, and inspiring the next generation of public policy leaders.